what's white, pink, and sparkly all over. That's right, a unicorn. And we can't get enough of these magical creatures. So we're going to make some fabulous unicorn school supplies to make learning a little more fun for your dolls and their friends. But first, make sure you show us some love by subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and clicking the thumbs up button if you liked this video. Ready to use your imaginations? Here we go! Notebook. Let's make a miniature notebook for Barbie's calculus notes. You'll need some felt fabric and a rectangular piece of cardstock. Trace the rectangle onto the felt. Cut a small slit on one side of the card to make it easier to fold up. Next, glue the felt to the outside of the cardstock. Then, grab some pieces of pink paper and fold them to fit inside the notebook. Mark and trim the pages to fit. Then, staple the pages at the fold. Now, glue the pages to the inside of the notebook. After that, grab a purple elastic band and glue it to the inside of the cover as a pocket. Isn't this glittery gold ribbon pretty? Cut a piece and glue it to the inside of the cover, near the top. Next, glue a felt flap to the outside of the cover. Add a small piece of Velcro to fasten it. It's time for the decorations! Glue colorful beads and stars to the front cover. A little sparkle here and a little shimmer there. Now Barbie's notebook is complete! Bag we loved making this little unicorn bag. Here's how to make your own. Use some pink and white foam sheet. Cut in these shapes. Now, hot glue the pink along the border of the white piece. When it's dry, glue the other white piece to the other side. Glue a piece of Velcro to the flap and to the front of the purse. The bag needs a strap. Glue two jewelry rings to the sides of the bag. Then find a cool ribbon, like this one. Glue the ends of the ribbon around the rings to make the strap. Use small pieces of foam sheet to make unicorn ears and glue them to the top of the bag. The metal tip of an ink pen makes a great unicorn horn. Using craft markers, draw the eyes onto the front of the bag, like this. Let's give her a cute little smile too. Now for her mane. Find some colorful cotton and glue it near the horn. That is one fantastic bag. Pencil. Let's make a miniature unicorn horn pencil. Check it out. Roll out three pieces of polymer clay in white, pink, and purple. Of course, we're going to need glitter. When you're satisfied with the sparkle of the clay, twist the different colored clay pieces together to make a fabulous horn. Have you ever whittled before? It's fun! Whittle a matchstick with an X-Acto knife until it looks like the tip of a pencil. Use a bright marker to color the tip. Cut the matchstick down and push it into the clay horn. Now Barbie has magical pencils so she can write poetry about the forest. Don't they go well with the notebook we made? <music> headphones Music is essential, so let's make some headphones for Barbie. You'll need these pieces of foam sheet, cut into the shapes of unicorn ears and a horn. Get a chenille stem and make sure it is trimmed to fit Barbie's head. Some purple cotton pom-poms will make great headphone pieces. Glue and twist the chenille stem around the pom-pom. On a tiny circle of white foam sheet, make a rainbow design with markers. Then, glue them to the headphone pieces as the ear pads. Next, glue the headphones to the headband. Glue on your ears and horn. Now Barbie can listen to her favorite podcast while she hikes or jams out to her favorite band.
Binder. Barbie's going to need a binder so she can organize all of her assignments. You know those plastic pencil bags at the dollar store? Snag one and get ready to transform it. Cut a plastic square from the plastic pencil bag. And use a ruler to make a rectangle, like we did before with the notebook. Cut shallow slits into the folds and fold them up. Paint the binder cover with gold nail polish. Next, you'll need a plastic sheet protector. Make a rectangle using a ruler to measure and cut it out. Cut it in half so they can open like this. Next, make a small rectangle out of gold construction paper and glue it to the inside of the binder cover you made. Use jewelry making rings as the binder rings. Bend the rings open a tiny bit and glue them inside the binder cover. Grab some sequin beads and glue them to the front of the binder. Tweezers are helpful to grab these little guys and glue them in place. We found this foam unicorn horn sticker at the craft store. Use an X-Acto knife to cut out the horn design. Look at its sparkle! Glue the horn to the spine of the binder. Poke holes in your mini sheet protectors and attach them to the rings. This binder is so gorgeous! Backpack. Barbie needs a backpack for all her Unicorn Fab school supplies. Here's how to make one. All you need is a sock from your little sister's drawer. Cut the bottom off to make your backpack. Next, grab a piece of pink felt. Trace it along your sock to get the perfect size. Cut out the unicorn snout and glue it to the toe of the sock. Grab a multicolored pack of embroidery floss and wrap each color section around your fingers like this to make the unicorn main pieces. Glue the main pieces to the top of the backpack. Snip the ends to make the unicorn mane flow freely. For the eyes, we decided to use FOSS eyelashes. Just glue them to the front of the backpack. Use the marker to make the nostrils in the snout. Next, sew a piece of hot pink ribbon through the top for closing up the backpack. and sew some elastic cords on for straps. Tie it in a little bow in front. And don't forget the horn! How adorable is this backpack? And to think it all started out as an old sock. Pencil case. We should make a pencil case to hold those fabulous unicorn horn pencils. First, cut two half ovals and a strip from a piece of white foam sheet. Hot glue this gold zipper to the foam sheet pieces. Next, glue the rectangular strip to the bottom of the case. By now, you're probably a pro at drawing unicorn eyes and making unicorn ears and horns. Glue the ears and horn in place on the case. Then, glue some sequin ribbon to the zipper to make a cute little tail. Now your doll has the most magical pencil case in the whole school! Organizer This organizer will come in handy for Barbie's desk. All you need are two cardboard matchboxes like these. Pull the covers off and cut them in half. Glue the pieces together like this. Trace the box onto a white piece of paper. Then turn it and trace the sides too. Cut out the paper and fold in the sides. Use a glue stick to glue the paper to the matchbox covers. Next, paint the inside of the organizer with pink acrylic paint. Use two white foam sheet triangles and two little pink foam sheet triangles to make the unicorn ears and glue them to the front of the organizer. Add a sparkly horn in the center. Now get some colorful small beads. Glue them on under the horn. And draw on some eyes. Yay! We just made the cutest organizer ever!
Wall Calendar. To help Barbie keep track of her tests, we thought it would be a good idea to make a wall calendar. Cut a square out of a piece of white foam sheet. You know how to make the unicorn ears. Glue them to the top of the white square. Trace your unicorn face to the front of the square. Color in the face with a marker. And glue on some googly eyes. Pink nail polish circles make beautiful blushing cheeks. Add a sparkly horn and a couple of pretty pom-poms. Now for the calendar. Measure and cut a stack of post-it notes. Use a ruler to draw a grid on the sticky notes. Use highlighters or markers to make a rainbow. Glue the sticky note calendar under the mouth of your unicorn. Now Barbie can stay on schedule. Way to go! Computer. This one is our favorite. Use the cover of a matchbox and trace it onto a piece of white foam sheet. Cut it out and glue the pieces to the matchbox cover. Draw some unicorn eyes and nostrils with black marker and glue it to the front. Add a frame for the screen of the computer. Glue two hot pink pom-poms to the top. Twirl a pipe cleaner to make the horn. And glue it in place. Use clear nail polish for the screen. Cut a slit in the bottom and push in a popsicle stick painted white and use a piece of polymer clay to make the stand. Draw a little keyboard on a piece of foam sheet. That computer is awesome! We want one in our size, too! We had so much fun getting crafty with you! Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas! See you later!